So hello again for another Q&A session on CryEngine and programming. What we're going to do is cover the Cry plugin system. And I'm here with... Philip. Guys? You guys speak up a little bit? Yeah, I can speak up a bit. <laughs> Philip is definitely here again. And what we're going to do is cover the Cry plugin system. And this is kind of a uh, semi-beta release for 5.3. Pretty much, yeah. It made its appearance in 5.2. And we're going to cover exactly how you can use the new Cry plugin template that's in the launcher with 5.3. So then you can extend the engine and have plugins, and it's a little bit more modular. But uh, Philip, you want to take it from here? Sure. So as Colin already explained, we have used the new plugin template from the CryEngine launcher and created a project that then ended up on our desktop. So what you see here is what the launcher generated for us, a simple Cry project file and the code inside it. What you need to keep in mind is that for 5.4, we will most likely change this format to be a .cry plugin file. The reason for this is that we still have the options from game plugins, where you can launch the editor, edit C Sharp code, and launch the game. However, this is not actually applicable to plugins. What we can do here is build solution, generate solution, and switch the engine version easily. So we will update that for 5.4. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what you have to keep in mind is that plugins are not standalone. They do require another project to run. And for that, we have another project, which we based on the blank game template from the launcher. What we're going to look at later is the cryplugin.csv file, which is where we'll tell the, uh, the engine itself where to actually load our plugin and when to do it. Cool. Yeah. So we'll close that for now and just have a look at our plugin. What we'll do is we'll generate a solution in order to open this up in Visual Studio. And off screen is this uh, window that's popped up. So detecting, I think at the last time I asked what CSX was, and uh, you said that was C++ because yeah. you can only have letters. Yep. See, I, I didn't forget. Yep. I remembered. Yeah, it's either CXX or CPP. Nice. Cool. So if we go into solutions, we can open up the solution file for this project. Now, keep in mind that the setup for plugins is very similar to projects now, as I explained with the Cry project file. It's also similar in the structure inside code. For example, the CMake list file is pretty much the same, and we can add new categories and files just as we would with regular projects. Most of the setup is the same, so if you want to move over entities to a plugin, you can also do that very easily. So you just set the plugin as a startup project right there, yeah. right? Yep. You're a little quick, so I have to keep track of it. <laughs> yeah. So if we keep on going, we can actually check out the only source file which matters in this release. And if we zoom out a little bit to see it, uh, we have plugin.cpp and plugin.h. So this is the entry point of our plugin. And this is what will be created when the plugin is instantiated and will live on until the plugin is unloaded. Okay. For now, in the blank templates, there is pretty much no logic at all. The only thing we have is the entity registrator, which you might recognize from the game templates. What this does is allow us to register entities in any CPP file easily without having to go to some sort of separate storage. We can go through that in a bit while we work on our first entity. But what we're going to do now is simply build this plugin, we can also switch it to release, as you have to keep in mind that the debug configuration cannot be used by people who do not have Visual Studio installed. Mm. So we'll switch to release and build. And once that's done, we should have a binary output into bin winx64, which we could use. And if I minimize this quickly and open up our project, we can actually copy over this binary into the same equivalent directory, which I had here and then step back twice and open up the CSV file here in order to load a plugin. So what we'll say is that this is a C++ plugin. Uh, and if we compare to the plugin.h file, we'll see that the name is my plugin. The actual ID is plugin underscore sample. And the path is bin bin underscore x64 slash plugin. Sorry, plugin .dll. Keep in mind that the name of the actual binary does not matter. If you want to rename that, you can go to code, cmakelist.pxd, and simply change the name here. There we go. 
And now if we close this, go back a step and launch the editor, we should be able to see the plugin actually loaded in the game log. Keep in mind that since the, this is a blank plugin, there is no actual logic in place and we'll only see it in the log and nowhere else. Now that the editor is open, we'll simply go to the debug menu, show the log file and search for plugin. And here we go, loading plugin and done. So that is initialized and ready. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get a completely empty plugin into the engine. Super easy and very straightforward, allowing you to start working on your plugin right away. What we'll do in a second is we'll go through creating a new entity inside our plugin and exposing it to uh, the engine. So you think we'll end it right here and uh, that's kind of like how you register it. And mm -hmm. then in the next step, putting the entity inside of the plugin. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds good to me.